Hello friends and welcome back to Mrs. Carnes and Me. Today we're headed off to another international destination, but first we have a few airport lounges to visit. Which airport lounge will be our favorite? Tag along as we live lounge life at JFK International Airport. We're ready to go pack up and head toward airport number three. JFK. It's been fun, New York. See you next time. It's about a 40 minute Uber ride from the Dominic Hotel in Soho to JFK Airport. This airport is huge, but easy to navigate because of the easy to follow signage. The line through security was fast, and some of that was due to our Clear Plus membership. We now have about two hours to live that lounge life before heading out to the country, sometimes referred to as La Pelle de Toro, or the land of the bullskin. So this is the new lounge at JFK. We've never been to a Chase Sapphire lounge before, but we're gonna go into this one, check it out. I've had a Chase Sapphire card. It was my first real travel card that I ever got. I've had it for 10 years now. And so um, we're gonna, first time we're going into one of their lounges, let's go see what it looks like, right? Perfect. Mrs. Crime? Yes, can't wait. Let's go. Lounge life, here we go. So to get into the Chase Sapphire Lounge at JFK, you need to have your Priority Pass card downloaded uh, from Chase. Uh, one of the perks of having a Chase Sapphire card is that you do get a Priority Pass, which gets you into lounges across the world. And so you have to have your card uh, downloaded. They'll scan your card, and each person is allowed to bring your two guests based upon that. They'll look at Priority Pass and your Priority Pass card from Chase Sapphire. That's what it takes to get in. Once you get in, they have a QR code that you can scan and you can order food to be brought to the table. They do have a little buffet line. It has probably eight, 10 different little dishes on it. I had some uh, curry cauliflower just a session ago, which was okay. Um, had a little spice to it. It kind of been out there a little while. It's a little cold, but we have ordered some food to have, to have uh, delivered to our table. And drinks and drinks. Um, I'm starting out with a Diet Coke. Mrs. Carnes is drinking. What do you think Mrs. Carnes is drinking? Leave a comment below. What do you think she's drinking right now? And I'm going to give you like 10 seconds before you answer. Three, two, one. Something sparkly. There was no kava. This is Piper Champagne, which is a pretty good substitute. So we've uh, be okay. just gotten in. We're gonna try to, we have about an hour and 45 minutes before our flight uh, boards. And uh, we're gonna enjoy this. I think we're gonna go next door maybe and try to get a signature cocktail over there. We're gonna try the signature cocktails at both places. So you'll the next shots are probably going to be signature cocktails from the Chase Sapphire Lounge and then from the American Express Centurion Lounge in the Speakeasy next door. Well, in a strange turn of events, I now have three drinks. Not exactly sure how that happened, but they look yum. We'll give them all a little sip, see how it goes. This is the signature drink, the Chase Sapphire drink. This guy is the Diageri. And we already, we've already talked about this one. It's the sparkling champagne that I got. Viaggieri Chase Sapphire. Sapphire, let's call it Sapphire. So that's a Viaggieri, which is Maker's Mark Bourbon, Amarino Nino, and Darjeeling Tea. It's the Sapphire, the mm -hmm. essence of traveler's love of discovery. As gin, blueberry, goldenberry, lime, ginger, oregano, and five spice powder, yeah. along with bee pollen and pearl dust. Oh, thank you. Everything that gr a girl needs for good health before she gets on a plane. Cheers. The five spice powder in that is very interesting. Try this one.
Hmm. Caramely tasting. It's the bourbon. That's not awful. We had words. The Chase Sapphire Lounge at JFK International Airport is located in Terminal 4. It is open from 5 a.m. until 11 p.m. and is 7,600 square feet. A look around this lounge found a well-stocked bar and a variety of seating areas. There are two reflection rooms slash prayer rooms at the back of the lounge and are available on a first-come, first-served basis. The lounge has three shower suites located in the restroom area. The restrooms are beautiful and feature apothecary amenities. It's a very nice lounge. And they do have a shower room. They do have a shower room. It's long though, so they're making me use, so I can't, can't show you that. It's already Other amenities include free Wi-Fi, USB-A and USB-C ports, abundant power outlets, and almost all seats have views of the runway. The lounge overlooks the apron area between the A and B gates. There's a buffet area right next to the dining tables and they feature an assortment of hot and cold small plates. Aside from the buffet, you can order several signature dishes via an online a la carte menu. So this is our food, we just showed it up. You order it a la carte. So this is uh, lamb meatballs. This is the burger, Chase Sapphire Burger. This is Karen's got some shiitake noodles. They look good also. This is Karen's wanting me to try her noodles, her shiitake noodles. Did you like them? I did like the shiitake noodles. They were very good, I thought. You so didn't eat them with the chopsticks. You're more than a connoisseur. Of noodles meat. always taste better with chopsticks. Of course they do. This is my Mikey Chin Slurp. It has a very earthy mushroom flavor. Um, almost a little, need some sriracha or something in it too. It's good. It's very well done. The noodles are perfectly cooked. The mushrooms are, are big and it's what they advertised. <laughs> it's not a bowl of ramen, but it ramen, but it's a very nice. It's it's better than you deserve in an airport lounge. For those looking for a sweet snack, there's a large refreshment station that separates the main lounge from the dining room. Teeny little cups up there. Those are cute. Coffee. Cold brew. Sparkling Carney and Sons Paris tea. I'm gonna try that cranberry mint spa water. Ooh, sounds good. And there's one of those fountains you can get all kinds of different waters from. And then there's brownies, lemon squares. Here you go, Brownies and chocolate chip cookies and fruit as an option. One of my favorite features was the fireplace that just gave the area a comfy feel. This lounge checks the boxes for everything you'd expect for a top tier airport lounge. The second lounge we will visit today is the American Express Centurion Lounge. This 15,000 square foot lounge located right next to the Sapphire Lounge is one of American Express's newer and biggest lounges. The lounge features free Wi-Fi, space to relax and work, a menu curated by an award-winning chef, the Equinox Body Lab for many spa treatments, and a speakeasy cocktail bar. There are several buffet-style serving stations throughout this lounge. A nod to its New York-themed Amex lounge is the coffee from Irving Farm, New York. 
One of the coolest features of the Centurion Lounge at JFK is the 1850 Speakeasy Bar. The dark finishes, wood paneling, and private booths make it feel like an authentic cocktail bar. So we're sitting in the speakeasy at the American Express Light Lounge. Mrs. Cars has got her an 1850 chocolate martini. And as my hero, Stone Barrington, who's from New York, well, fictitiously from New York, Stone Barrington always drinks Knob Creek on the rocks. So here's the stone and you. Cheers. Another great feature of this lounge is the Equinox Body Lab a space that is under construction right now. However, they are still offering a few services in what was their private member space. On our first visit to this lounge in 2023, I was not able to get an appointment, but today they do have a slot open, so I am going to be able to try the Nomadic Recovery Compression Boots. The Nomadic Compression Boots go over your legs and inflate and deflate based on a chosen resistance level. This technology is supposed to increase circulation, revive muscles, and reduce swelling. They really did make my legs feel good, and that was great right before a flight. Pro tip, if you're interested in a service, get your name on the list as quickly as possible. The spots do fill up fast. from your feet up and just a gentle pressure it doesn't it doesn't hurt it actually kind of feels good I like a massage i like it so i'm all done with my treatment it was really cool it kind of squeezes your legs from top to bottom all the way up to your thighs and um, helps your leg muscles to relax and recover it said it should help me sleep so we'll see see how that does tonight Hopefully. Although the lounge is a two-story lounge, it is rather narrow. Most seating is along the windows with nice runway views. The lounge is open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. This Centurion Lounge is one of the largest lounges that we've ever been to. Whether you're visiting the lounge to get work done, relax before a flight, grab some yummy food, or just indulge in a fancy cocktail, you can do all of that and more at this lounge. Lounge visits are always too short, but all good things must come to an end. We are off to take flight number two of eight in airport number three of 11. Join us next week as we fly for the first time on KLM Royal Dutch Airlines to Amsterdam. Thanks for watching and please leave us a comment and let us know which lounge was your favorite. We know that we are living the good life and we hope that you are too. Prost!